Okay, welcome again, day 29. We are almost there. One more day left. Yay! All right, today we are still talking about, you know, some products that are related to, you know, the agricultural sector. And, um, you know, like I said, you know, look, to make it, you need to stop, just if you can just get this in your head, stop looking at those products that are just unique to Nigeria. So a lot of people keep coming to me, I want to export Gary, I want to export Amala. If you export Amala, you're only going to feed, you know, the small Nigerian community that is out there. Look for products that is used by so many. And again, there are many products that we have. Go, like I said yesterday, go to your backyard, call your, your, your parents, your uncles in the village, ask them what products, what natural remedies do they use for a lot of things. It could be heart attack, high blood pressure, it could be some people in the village, they have certain things that they drink on a daily basis. And those things are helpful. Take those products, find out their English name, do some research on them, and you'll be amazed what you will see. Yesterday I was talking about alligator pepper, uh, hibiscus, um, uh, moringa, um, what other tea, ginger. These are things that are found bountifully in Nigeria, of which if processed, we, you will make a lot of money. Because they have benefits for blood pressure and some other things. Let me show you guys a, a, a video. I want you guys to watch this video and see and tell me if that will not be an excellent idea to look into. So this is a lady on a YouTube. Uh, she's a doctor. She reviews anything uh, skin care. Look at it. She has close to 300,000 subscribers on her account. And today, yes, what is she doing? So I get asked all the time about black soap. Does it work? What does it do? What are the side effects? What should you look for in the packaging? Which are the best black soaps and which are the worst black soaps? Who should avoid it, etc. So I thought the best thing to do was to do a deep dive investigation to the top selling six black soaps on the internet. The way I did it basically was I defined the ingredients list of each of these six and I had to then for my own conclusions on each product and tell you the pros and cons and who should avoid what. So I hope you find today helpful because I put a lot of effort and love into today's video. Starting off, what is African black soap? So it's created in Nigeria and it's based on plantain skins. Now it seems to have these mythological incredible benefits which include sebum reduction, it includes uh, reducing your breakouts, fading scars and even brightening the skin. So it does a lot of different things. Um, however, despite the name, Black soap is actually not black. Black soap should be brown. It is free of sulfates, fragrances, and parabens. And actually, out of those three, the one that I'm most happy about. All right, all right. So I, I believe you guys know what she's talking about here. Um, this is not a Nigerian. This is a, uh, I think she's an American. I'm not too sure. But she is reviewing a Nigerian product the black soap, you know, the soap, we know the local soap that they make out of plantain and some other things, that is what she's re reviewing. And again, this is what I keep talking about. Look for those products that are naturally made in Nigeria, but can have a global appeal. If you take those products, you redo them, you repackage them, you will make a lot of money. You know, we have, look, Africa, we have natural remedies that we are just waiting for the white man to come and declare it as good before we start pushing it out. No, we shouldn't. So let's go back to, uh, you know, I'm not gonna do much on that video anymore. You already know what she's talking about. She's talking about black soap. And that, if you look at it, she talked about various ones. You can look for the, the, the video yourself. Just Google African black soap doctor or African black soap review. You'll be able to see it. You know, she looked at various black soap, Dudu Osu, 
uh, I think that's made in Nigeria. And then she looked at about six various black soaps and reviews like this is what makes these products popular because they are used by everybody. Oibo people, they also have issues with their skin. So when they see a review like this from a trusted authority like this, what happens? They rush to buy it. Now, let's look at the effect some of these videos have on uh, some of these products. So let's go again to Amazon, African soap, let's search for it or black African soap, it's, it's even giving me that. And again, boom, there we see it. These products are there on Amazon. Like I told you guys, look, anything you wanna sell, check if it's on Amazon. If it's on Amazon, you have a good chance of making good money. Look at the review. African black soap, this is what? 3,845, so what does that tell you? That about 384,000 people are buying that soap. 384,000. So what does that tell you? Is there an opportunity for you to steal some of the market from these people? Oh yes. What do you need to steal that market? Repackaging. It's simple. The formula for making this thing, there is nothing spectacular about the formula. It's just, this, it's just about making it, repackaging it, give it a, a nicer, you know, uh, Oibo looking type of packaging and you are made easy L look like I keep saying you don't need to reinvent the wheel you don't need to go and set up a lab and start doing research because all this research is already there in the public domain okay let's look at that so look at this 3845 again if i look well let me see where this is manufactured i am very good i'm going to be quite sure it has something to do with ghana look at it made in ghana west africa and as i speak the ghanaians have already invited me to come and do uh, a training on export and selling on amazon to some of their, their, their chamber of commerce. Those are people that are ready for export. Anyway, let's go back and, and look at the results again. Um, let's go look at the results again. Various black soap, different types. You know, look at it. You see Oyibo people using it. They use it for different things. A lot of them that are having pimples, they've tried this black soap and it worked. And that's why you have the huge sale. Look at it. Six piece black bar soap collection. So, what is it that has been done here? These are Oyibo people who have come, they've looked at it, they've seen that it's good, they have now carried it abroad to make. They have repackaged it, and that is what you are seeing. Something right under our own nose. Dudu also very good. They are trying, look at it, they are doing pretty well. 3,130. No wonder it is hard to see Dudu also in the local market. It's hard. Why? Because they, they can make more money selling it on Amazon, earning in dollars. Why are they going to be wasting their time, you know, uh, hawking black soap in, in the Nigerian market, you know, and then people will be pricing, look at this one, $21 for this pack. That is what? That's over 8,000 Naira. Locally here, you know, for them to sell it for 3,000 will be a big challenge. But they are making money. And that's what I'm trying to teach you guys. Look, there is a lot of opportunity that you need to tap into. There is a lot of opportunity. Do your research. Stop looking for things that are made in Nigeria that you will now carry back, back to the US and only Nigerians can buy it. Aki, Aki, come and try this. Aki, yeah. leave Aki alone. Look for J Jones. Let Jones be the one to buy it. Shaquilla Jones, the Oyibos, the blacks, the black Americans. Target 300 million people. That's what we need to do. Do your research. Look, these things, these things are clear. They are clear. You know, the, 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 the facts are there. There are so many things, again, let me, let me say it again, so many things out there that Nigeria has naturally that they are using for various things that can be repackaged and pushed to sell on Amazon. Do your research. 
Well, today is uh, day 29. It's going to be the last day of uh, me doing any form of review on Amazon. Uh, for day 30, I'm going to be right in one of the markets in Lagos here, um, you know, showing you things that I saw initially that made me to start thinking of export and selling on Amazon. I'm going to show that live tomorrow. I don't know if it will be live, but I think it will be live. Uh, I'll be in one of the markets in Lagos showing you things. The opportunities are big. Don't, don't miss it. And it All right, again, so um, just to end this, I'm going to take you around again how to register for the seminar. You know, some of you are still uh, complaining about it. I'm still getting DMs. Where is the link? Where is the link? It's very simple. All you do is, uh, let me minimize this, to register, simply go to exportandsell.com slash seminar. It redirects to that page, but that's fine. Seminar exportandsell.com slash seminar once you go there it shows you this page and uh, all you do is just scroll down it will ask you to fill in your name and your email just fill that in and then click on that submit it now takes you to the next page the sales page you can watch the video if you want to watch if you don't want that is fine um, but once that is done um, you know that it shows you everything about the training, you know, just to get you really acquainted with what you're going to be seeing. It's an amazing two days that is, is, is power packed with information. So once you're ready to sign up, you have to sign me up. Once you click on that, it's going to take you to where you can enter your card details. If you want to pay locally, you can follow the instructions here. It's right here. So there's nothing difficult about it. But once you click on the sign me up, it takes you uh, to the page, uh, you know, where it's asking for your details. Again, fill in the details. Uh, once you fill it in, um, you know, your billing address, your shipping address, you fill in all the details and you click on submit and that is it. So again, um, thank you guys. Uh, we, we, I think that's, that's all for now. Uh, it's been an amazing journey, day 20, today is what, day 29, tomorrow is day 30, like I said, I will be shooting that right uh, in one of the markets here in Lagos where they sell uh, some products of interest, I, I think I talked about those products in one of the earlier, earlier uh, versions, but um, you know, I just want, want you to see the potentials that are out there you know we'll do some real life comparison so it doesn't look like oh these things i'm saying i've just been saying it from my head no i have done my research i've had that team go there to do research we will do some good real life comparison so again guys thank you for watching uh, i will see you tomorrow stay safe remain blessed thank you bye bye